Welcome to the Shooting Show. This week we look at the last of the deer season and the first of the books. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Yeah, roast stalking for me is uh, an escape. It's a real privilege uh, to be able to uh, manage the deer on an estate. Uh, modern working lives sometimes makes it difficult, but when I get the time, uh, I certainly put the time in. Um, you know, winter time at the Durs, it's uh, always uh, kind of a hard thing to get, get the deer call, to get the numbers. Uh, I, I've always found that, but we usually manage to do it or certainly get close to it. Uh, this year, or this past season, was, was another one of those uh, right to the wire moments. <laughs> and, uh, and we did well, Stuart and I, the cameraman, uh, we, we were out pretty much uh, for, for the last month of the season, three if not four times a week, uh, and, and that's more than an evening out in. So, uh, and one particular, uh, the, the last week of the season, uh, uh, it, it was quite uh, uh, testing, shall we say. Uh, we went out and we just couldn't get into those does. Uh, I was always looking at the high seats at that time of the year, getting them ready for uh, for the, for, for the uh, spring roebuck uh, start of the season. So I'd make sure everything's fine, checking all the high seats, etc. And uh, you try and do two jobs at once. It's not always the right thing to do. So we just couldn't get, we, we'd spy does, a, you know, a, a, a group of row or a bevy of row, and then we'd get in there and try and work out which, which if there was a barren doe there or which followers were with whom. So it's, we try and do it the right way. And we just could not get in to get a shot. And then, uh, yeah, we, we, we got there in the end and, and they kind of went round the back of uh, a, a cover that, uh, a fox cover that, a favoured row haunt and in, in winter time they always seem to like this place it's quiet it's thick there's a lot of blackthorn inside we, we came around one end and you know, it just it just came together and just Stuart he said that he got the uh, the, the, the row were, were in shot so it's always difficult with a cameraman as well but you know was there and bam it's great that we got it and, and uh, that was kind of my most favourable Rodeo moment of uh, the past deer season, and then uh, you know, we're into the books, and you know, it's just such a privilege to be out in the spring. We, we've got a good idea of what books we've got, so we've seen them uh, through the through the winter, uh, and watched them establish the territories. That's always a very interesting thing for me. Who who gets pushed out, where they end up, and we try and pick the ones on the on the boundary and on the road sides that have got pushed out. And I take pretty much all the cull books. Uh, we leave the, the, the older mature books uh, for the clients and the guests.
yeah, we had a, a 20 minute, half an hour stint in the high seat. I just didn't feel comfortable. I was being a bit impatient and Stuart picked up on that. So uh, it's a favoured place. You know, we know that there's a, a young buck going in there and it's, it's just on the, the sort of periphery of the estate. It's kind of a little bit of a nab corner. Uh, it was nice thick woodland, it was small, small piece of woodland and I just, it just didn't feel right. You know, it was great morning, it was beautiful, the sun coming through the trees and all, all the birds singing, it was fantastic. Anyway, got out of there and Stuart was, I think he was too pleased with me because we wasted all that time getting in there and then getting up for half an hour, so he, didn't, he thought we should have stayed a little bit longer, I think. So we, we left there and then uh, we came down the side of Oakwood. Uh, there was a, a, a book there we'd earmarked and we'd just seen him bouncing out and going into the hedge and he, he wasn't uh, moving for, for us disturbing him or anything uh, untoward. He, he, he seemed quite comfortable, but we were just getting into a position where we could have looked up the ride and then a doe came out. So it was like a Mexican standoff. So we had this doe coming up, looking and coming up and looking and yeah, she just bolted away. And so it was barking like a farmyard collie dog and that kind of ruined it for us. So. Uh, we had to regroup and replan, and uh, yeah, we came to, came to this end to the Birchwood, and what a start! You know, it was great. Uh, we had a bit of a run around. So we, this, this particular book, we'd we'd seen him at the at, at the back of the big wood. We came in, uh, stalked down the side of the Birchwood. Uh, he was just come through the wood and saw us and skipped away. And it was small plants in the trees. He was barking away, and so we we pulled out. Uh, we went to the other side of the state, had a look, nothing doing, just came back and saw him at the opposite end of the birch wood. We came in, stalked down the side of the pheasant pen. There's uh, a pheasant pen in uh, nearly all the major woods on the estate. And uh, we, we just took the chance and stalked through. There's a, a small track, it's difficult, there's a lot of fallen wood, uh, cut, cut trees and windfall. And so you've got to be very careful, one twig and bam, and they're gone. Uh, and he just stood and was just lucky really he dropped on him and I just put the binoculars up on the sticks and he saw the movement and then looked and brought the rifle up he looked again but I was nice good solid shooting position He's down. He just did see me move uh, when I put the sticks up and he looked back. He moved to the left slightly and he stopped again and then by then I had the rifle up on him. Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, happy with the shot, bang, so he went down, lift, slightly raised, went straight forward, stayed where he was. So Jobs are good. And he, Opening the account of the 2019 book season there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. We could have new general licences shortly, if DEFRA's latest statement is to be believed. 
On Friday, the government department issued a statement saying it appreciates the urgency of getting a working licensing system in place and intends to announce shortly how it will proceed. Of course, it's already three weeks late in providing new licenses, so it really needs to get on with it now. You can keep tabs on the latest developments using Basque's dedicated general licence website. Who will be the next Prime Minister? Theresa May has stepped down and a host of candidates aim to replace her, but it's not clear who would be a defender of the shooting sports and a friend of the countryside in general. To help solve that, the Countryside Alliance has launched a survey asking people what rural issues the next Prime Minister should focus on and whether life in the countryside has improved in the last five years. The results will be sent to all the Conservative leadership candidates. To complete the survey, just head to the address on screen now. Hen Harriers are back in the news after Natural England said it was bringing back the brood management scheme on moors. The RSPB is expected to appeal against the decision, but the relocation of chicks could begin as soon as this summer. Amanda Anderson of the Moorland Association said there is a genuine will among land managers and landowners to ensure the success of the brood management scheme. We are all united in our goal to help restore the hen harrier population. And finally, with some good weather upon us, all eyes are turning to the game fair at Hatfield House next month. Early bird tickets are available now so you can save money on entry. And for the first time you can pre-book the shooting line too. The price of entry to the shooting line includes gun hire, all cartridges, eye and ear protection and for a small upgrade you can use a shot cam to record your shots too. Book now on the Game Fair website. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.